Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to be talking about the Swift Network, ransomware, Angler Exploit Kit, and everyone's favorite, Pokemon Go. Stay tuned. This is a Security Weekly production. Brought to you by IT Pro TV, an easy, entertaining approach to online IT training. IT Pro TV offers 1,000 hours of up to date, high quality video training content. Course topics include certified cloud security professional, ethical hacking, cryptography, and VMware. You can stream their courses live or on demand to your mobile device, all for one low monthly subscription price and cancel at any time. Visit ITProTV forward slash hack naked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code HN30 for a free seven day trial and get 30% off for life. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV. Well, the Swift Network is doubling down, and they're bringing in outside an out, two outside security company to help its customers get their security up to snuff. BAE Systems and Fox IT Security are going to be joining an internal team that Swift has set up to focus on forensics and customer security intelligence. And even with all of the recent high-profile highs, we have to remember that the Swift network itself has not been breached. All of these heists have resulted from the sec poor security at the victim banks. Hopefully these new initiatives that are Swift is putting forward are really gonna help banks get their security up to where it needs to be and prevent many of these heists from happening in the future. We love it. We love to talk about it here on Hack Naked TV, ransomware. And ransomware variants are like rabbits. They seem to multiply exponentially. And there is yet another. This new variant is upping the ante. Dubbed Ranscamware, it deletes files instead of encrypting it. It doesn't tell the victim this and instead demands a ransom to decrypt the files. And, of course, the kicker here is the files aren't there to decrypt even when the ransom is paid. Also, the payment process always returns a failure. Maybe they're trying to get the victims to try to make multiple payments thinking that the payment failed. So this new variant is in no way as sophisticated as the common ransomware that you're seeing out there right now, and it's not very widespread at all. However, it is an indication that script kiddies are jumping on the bandwagon and trying to make a quick, bite, bu quick buck. Excuse me there. On the plus side, maybe if more ran scamware like this is out there, people and companies will stop paying the ransoms and investing in good backup solutions instead. Well, speaking of ransomware, Angler Exploit Kit, one of the big exploit kits out there known for distributing ransomware, might be dead for good this time. Now, the exploit kit kit did disappear for several weeks at the beginning of the year, but rose from the dead. But this time, it's looking like this is permanent. So, a little background here. In June of this year, just last month, a group that is associated with the Lurk Banking Trojan was arrested in Russia for targeting Russian banks. Now, the key here is, if you're in Russia, don't target Russian banks. So, within a few days of the arrest, Angler disappeared. It's a coincidence, maybe, but it's a hard one to ignore. Lurk was mainly distributed by Angler, so it is entirely possible that the same group was running both. Also, researchers have found some similarities in the command and control infrastructure of the two. It'd be a good score for businesses everywhere if Angler has gone to the wayside though I'm sure it will be 
replaced by another exploit kit before too long. Now, I wasn't going to, but I am. Pokemon Go. Yes, there is a security component to this. So this game has become insanely popular in just the last few days since it's been released. And it's being incorrectly reported that if you used your Google account to log into it, yet you've given the company behind the game full access to your Google account. Well, the security researcher that broke this story was mistaken about how Google handle it, handles its OAuth login and has since updated his original post on GitHub. Now, this hasn't stopped every single news media outlet from here to Timbuktu running the story that you're giving giving uh, Pokemon Go, Go the keys to your Google account. Now, as InfoSec professionals, there's a lesson to be learned here. We have to be very careful crying wolf. If we do it too many times, we're not going to be listened to or taken serious. Check yourself. Double check yourself. Have someone else check your work before you take this and start spreading FUD. Well, that's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. Thanks for listening. You can reach us at the show at hacknaked.tv. Love to hear your feedback and keep on hacking naked.